Hey guys, Mike Mel 74 with another Transformers video haul. This time it's from the USA. Before I begin, I just want to give a big shout out to a fellow YouTuber and a friend of mine, Scoob6547. He's a really good kid, does really cool videos. He's been giving me a lot of shout outs in the past couple of weeks, maybe months. So I just want to return the favor. If you don't know who he is, I'll leave his link in the underbar down below so you guys can check out his, uh, his reviews. Uh, so I went to the States last night with my good friend Amanda. We left about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, didn't get back till last night, it was almost 12 o'clock. So we did uh, <laughs> we did quite a bit of shopping last night. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take you guys a run through what I got, and then uh, and then I'm gonna have to show you individually, that way you guys can have a better look of, of actually what I, what I picked up. Uh, the places that we went, we went to Pontiac Trail, uh, we went to a Walmart, and then we went to a Toys R Us, which was on Telegraph Road. And then we went to uh, Target and uh, Myers, which was on Auburn Hills on, uh, on Baldwin Road. So like I said, I'm just going to give you a quick run, uh, run through of what I got. And then I'll show you individually. That way you guys can have a better look. So now I'm just going to show you individually, what, uh, actually show you what I picked up. So to start off with the deluxe figures, I finally found myself a Transformers Generations Wheeljack. And I got myself another Transformers Generations uh, Sergeant Cup, only because of the price difference. Um, over here you're paying uh, $15.99, so with taxes so you're, you're going to pay like almost $20. Bucks. And I got these for like $11.99, so, which is not bad. So I got myself Generations Wheeljack. And Generations Sergeant Cup. I'll just take a take a look at the back. Uh, shows you their uh, robot mode and their vehicle mode. So here's a picture of Sergeant Cup in his uh, robot mode and his vehicle mode at the bottom. And gives you a little bit of uh, information, his stats, and uh, his exhaust pipe becomes a laser musket. And then it gives you a little bit of a bio of what he's about. I'll show that a little bit later on. And then here's Generations the Wheeljack in his uh, robot mode and his vehicle mode at the bottom. And it gives you his stats. And converter blaster at the top on his uh, shoulder. And a little bit of bio of what he's about, which I'll show you that a little bit later on as well. Transformers Generations uh, Wheeljack and Transformers Generations Sergeant Cup. Next up, I got myself another Transformers Dark of the Moon mud flap, and I finally got myself Transformers Generations Thundercracker. How awesome is that? I mean, I've, I've been wanting a Thundercracker for like the longest time, and I finally found him. So just take a look at the back. Uh, like I said, it gives you a look on the uh, their robot mode and their vehicle mode. It gives you a little bit of information of what they're about. So here's a picture of Thundercracker in his robot mode. At the top, it just gives you a little bio, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. His twin cannons fire uh, project missiles, or pro projectiles, I should say, two launching missiles. Flip down landing gears, and it gives you his stats along the side right there, and there he is in his jet mode. 
and then Transformers Dark of the Moon Mud Flap. There he is in his uh, robot mode. Gives you a little bit of bio at the top. His blaster converts to a Cybertronian battle axe. So there's his vehicle mode at the bottom. So Transformers Dark of the Moon Mudflap and Transformers Generations Thundercracker. Next we come to Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberfire Bumblebee. And I know everybody's not too keen on the uh, Bumblebee figures or repaints, but he's really not that bad of a figure. I think he's pretty cool myself, but that's just me. So I'll give you guys a close up so you guys can have a better look of what he's like. So there he is in his, uh, in his vehicle mode. And on the back there he is in his robot mode. and in vehicle mode at the bottom. His blaster converts to a plasma cannon. And at the top it just gives you a little bit of bio of what he's about. So this is Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberfire Bumblebee. Next up, and the last of the uh, deluxes that I picked up, Transformers Dark of the Moon Specialist Ratchet. This repaint looks so much better than the other ratchets that I have. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still like the other figures, but the repaint on this one just looks a lot better. So I'll give you guys a close up so you guys can have a better look at what it looks like. So there he is in his uh, vehicle mode. And you can see the Autobot logo alongside the vehicle. And here he is in his robot mode on the back. And then gives you a little bit of uh, information of what he's about at the top. And then his vehicle mode at the bottom. And then there it says hand blaster converts to double barrel cannon. So this is Transformers Dark of the Moon Specialist Ratchet. Next we come to the Cyberverse figures. This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Battle in Moonlight Move Exclusive, only at Walmart. So we have uh, Optimus Prime and Autobot Ratchet versus Crankcase. And I'll give you guys a close up so you guys can have a better look. And there you can see Optimus Prime and Ratchet right next to him. And way at the back there you can see Crankcase. And then I'll give you guys a look at the back as well just so you guys can uh, see what the back looks like. So there's Optimus Prime. And then there's the Autobot Ratchet and his uh, vehicle mode and robot mode. And then you have Crankcase in his robot mode and vehicle mode as well. So this is Transformers Dark of the Moon Battle in Moonlight movie exclusive. This, this is from the Cyberverse figures. Next we come to Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Cybertronian Warriors Pack only found at Toys R Us. This is Ironhide and Bumblebee versus Barricade and Crankcase. I'll give you guys a close up so you guys can uh, see, what, see what they look like. So this is just a repaint of the uh, Bumblebee Mobile Battle Bunker set, the uh, review I did a little while, a little while back. 
You can see iron hide at the, uh, at the back there. And there's barricade and there's crankcase. And here's a look at the back just so you guys can see what it, uh, what it looks like. So there's Ironhide and Bumblebee. And I, I like this set because it has an Autobot logo on the uh, on the platform there, as you guys can see. I, mean, I realize it's a repaint, but I, I still like it. And there's Crankcase and there's uh, Barricade in their robot mode and their vehicle mode. So this is Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse uh, Cybertronian Warriors Pack only found at Toys R Us. Next we have Transformers Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Bumblebee vs Megatron. And I'll give you guys a close up so you guys can uh, see what they look like. So here's Cyberverse Bumblebee in his uh, robot mode. And here's Megatron in his robot mode. And you can and you can see only found at Target. I'll just quickly show you the back. So there's Bumblebee in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. Gives you a little bit of information and the stats. And then Megatron in his vehicle mode and in robot mode. And again with his stats. So this is Transformers Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse, Bumblebee vs. Megatron. Next we have Transformers Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse, Leadfoot, and Ironhide. And I'll give you guys a close up so you guys can see. So here's Transformers Cyberverse, Leadfoot, in his robot mode. And Cyberverse, Ironhide in his robot mode. And only found that target. See the target symbol? <laughs> and just quickly show you the back, it shows you their both their robot mode and vehicle mode and uh, gives you a little bit of stats. So there's Leadfoot in his uh, robot mode and vehicle mode. Gives you the stats information and a little bit of bio what the set is about. And Ironhide in his robot mode and vehicle mode. And the stats as well. So this is Transformers Dark of the Moon, Cyberverse, Leadfoot, and Ironhide. So I thought I saved the best for last. Originally I wanted to go to the USA just only to pick up uh, Human Alliance Roadbuster and Human Alliance Leadfoot, but I picked up more than one I can bargain for, which I'm not going to complain. So I'll give you guys a close up of the figure, that way you guys can have a better look at what they look like. And I've seen a few reviews on these guys. And I just thought they looked really, really cool, so I decided to pick them up. And these are the last two figures at Target, so I thought I'd pick them up before anybody else snatched them up. So you can see uh, Human Alliance Roadbuster in his vehicle mode. And the letter is 88 on the top of the vehicle and on the side. And as you can see, it comes with a Human Alliance uh, figure with the Autobot logo on the front of his chest. 
then here he is on the uh, on the back with his robot mode and vehicle mode. And when uh, Human Alliance Road Buster is in his uh, robot mode, the Human Alliance figure sits on the shoulder or on the back, <laughs> either or. So this is Transformers Dark of the Moon, Human Alliance Road Buster. And I've also seen a couple of reviews. I've seen uh, Scoob6547 reviews on this uh, on this guy, so I thought I'd pick him up because he looked really, really cool. And I thought it looked uh, cool because he comes with a bulldog named Steeljaw. Well, it looks like a bulldog anyway, so I wanted to pick him up. So I found these at Target as well. And you can see it has the, uh, the letters or the numbers uh, 42 on the top of the vehicle and on the side and uh, the target logo on the uh, on the hood of the vehicle and the target logo on the uh, on the human alliance figure on the chest and here's a look on the back of Leadfoot in his vehicle mode and robot mode I just and I like I said it's, I just thought it was neat that it comes with a bulldog named Steel Jaw I mean it looks like a bulldog to me, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> so this is Transformers Dark of the Moon, Human Alliance Lightfoot, and Transformers Dark of the Moon, Human Alliance Roadbuster. So I thought I'd show you my haul one more time and guys please don't forget to uh, check out Scoob6547's channel and like I said he's a really good kid, he does really cool videos and he's been giving me a lot of shoutouts in the past couple of weeks, maybe last couple of months and I just wanted to really uh, really return the favor. If you guys would like what you see then subscribe, I'm sure he'd really appreciate it. So here we go. So this is my Mouse 74 with my Transformers video haul from the USA. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, like I said, don't forget to check out Scoob6547's channel. Uh, support the mouse, support your Transform community. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Take care, guys.